In this video, I will be going step by step through the process of getting you up and running with YOLO V5 and creating your own detections on your window machine. After this tutorial, you should be able to create your own bounding boxes on your window machine like what I'm showing here. Let's go ahead and get started. There are a few installations that we have to do in order for us to uh, detect some objects from different examples and also in order for us to use the YOLO V5 model in our local computer. To do so, we will take the following steps, installing the CUDA and installing the PyTorch and also installing the YOLO V5. Because we are going to use the GPU, this is one of the reasons why we need to install the CUDA. And for the PY torch, because YOLO is implemented with the PyTorch, as a result, we definitely we need to install the PyTorch. And of course, uh, needless to say, we also need to install the YOLO V5 in order for us to make some detections. A bit background of YOLO V5. Uh, this is a family of object detections, architectures, and models between that on the COCO dataset and represents Ultralytics open source research into the future visions AI methods. Um, YOLO is an acronym uh, that means you only look once. This is an object detection algorithm that divides image into a grid system. And each cell in the grid is responsible for detecting objects within itself. And as a result, YOLO is very efficient. YOLO is one of the most famous object detection algorithm due to its speed and also accuracy. So why YOLO V5? There are a few reasons that we go for the YOLO V5. Uh, the first reason is that it's because it's implemented by the PyChart, PyTorch. This is the first native release of the models in the YOLO family to be written in a Python platform with the use of PyTorch. Um, Dotnet is an incredibly flexible research framework, but it is not built with the production environment in mind. As a result, the PyTorch uh, provides you a, a more flexible environment in order for, for us to, to modify the code, in order for us to uh, to do something on top of the YOLO V5. As a result, um, now everything has been written in PyTorch, which provides us a, a greater flexibility in terms of the implementations. And on the other hand, in YOLO V5, um, because uh, just say, for example, if we run it on the collapsed notebook running on a Tesla P100, we can see that the, that the speed is up to 0 0.07 seconds per image, meaning around more than 100 frames per second. By contrast, YOLO V4 only achieved 50 uh, frames per second after having been converted to the same Ultralytix PyTorch library. Therefore, YOLO V5 is fast in terms of the speed. For the accuracy, YOLO V5 is accurate, uh, it's pretty accurate. It's in one of the tests of the blood cell count and detections uh, at that achieved roughly 0 0.9 MAP after training for just 100 epoch. And we saw comparable performance from efficient stats and also YOLO V5. However, this is rare to see such a cost the bot performance uh, improvement without any loss in terms of the accuracy. And in terms of the size, um, YOLO V5 is, is light in size. Uh, specifically, a weight file for YOLO V5 is around 27 megabytes. Um, for, but for YOLO V4, that is about 244 megabytes. That is nearly 90% smaller than the YOLO V4. That means YOLO V5 can, that can be deployed to an embedded device much more easily. Therefore, YOLO V5 is fast, accurate, and at the same time is light in size.
Let's see what we need to do in order for us to set things up. First of all, we need to install a cooter. Uh, because we are going to implement uh, it with a GPU, therefore we need to install a CUDA to enable us to for the GPU computing. And because of the PyTorch, uh, that everything is implemented in PyTorch, it supports either CPU or GPU. And in this tutorial, we will go for the GPU. Here are the steps that we need to do in order for us to set up the CUDA 2 kit. First of all, we need to head over to NVIDIA's CUDA Toolkit to download the latest versions or head to the NVIDIA's CUDA Toolkit archive to download previous release. It depends on the machines that you will have having. And then once we are in the uh, in NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit uh, web page, we can select the options that fit our machine. Say for example, I'm using the window, Windows OX, and then I'm going to select the version 10, um, then I'm going to uh, download it, uh, uh, download the executable file into our local machine. And then once we select the options, we can then click on the download and install the CUDA. After the setup, you may need to reboot and later on, you can continue to install your PyTorch. PyTorch is an open source uh, machine learning library that specializes in tensor computations, automatic differentiations, and also GPU accelerations. Therefore, it makes PyTorch to become one of the most popular deep learning libraries. To enable the GPU computing, computing uh, PyTorch needs to be aligned with the CUDA and set up correctly. Let's take a look to see how we can set up the PyTorch. Once again, we need to head over to the website, to the PyTorch website to download the latest versions or previous versions of the PyTorch um, in, order that, in order for you, for, for you to make sure that it fits your machine or if it fits the selections that you have in the previous step. And then we can, once we are in the PyTorch web page, we can select the options that apply to you. Um, so for example, what we're going to do is to, um, to choose by default, then that is disabled um, PyTorch, and then in the window versions. And of course, uh, we are going to use the Python and also the CUDA. Here you can either ch uh, choose the CUDA um, 10 or CUDA 11, it depends on which options that you are picking in the previous steps. So for example, in, in my case, um, the previous steps that I pick is 10, so what I'm going to do is choose to choose the CUDA 10. Um, and then um, the package that I would like to use is the Condor. It's recommends to create an environment, new environment to set this up in order to uh, make things uh, clear and make things nicer, to so not get messed with your existing environment. Therefore, we are going to use the condors for installations. Now, we, are, we can copy the one disk code over here and then install under your target development, uh, uh, your integrated development uh, environments, that is their IDE. Therefore, if you, are, if you would like to use PIP, and then you can uh, change it to the PIP, uh, so if that fits your IDE. Uh, on the other hand, I'm using Condors here that, um, that fits uh, my IDE. What I'm going to do is that just uh, give you an, an example of uh, how to set up a new environment and use the Condors for installations. Um, so just uh, open an, an Condors prompt, and once we are in, um, we, you need to create a new environment. In that case, uh, type in the code, Condit create and provide a name for your new environment. And here I'm using the YOLO V5. What I'm going to do is to activate the new environment. 
uh, so activates the YOLO V5. You can see that um, the base, um, these, these are base environments, and now once we activate the environments, the YOLO environments, it will change the, change the names to your new environment. And then you can counter install the pipe torch, um, torch versions, uh, torch audio, and QDA, QDA, uh, QDA toolkit equals to, um, equals to the versions that you would like to have. So jo just copy this code and then put it over here. And once you've done, you can just uh, press enter to set it up. But always remember that these QDA tool versions must match with your uh, QDA setup in the previous um, installation. Therefore, NVIDIA setup and also the PipeTorch setup has to align with the CUDA versions. Now we are ready to install the YOLO v5. First thing first, we need to head over to GitHub web page to download the latest version. Once you are in, you can click on the green button called over here, and then you can download zip file. You can extract it to the locations that you want to execute it. And then finally, you can install required modules under the YOLO path. Let's take a look to see how I can set it up. Uh, once I download the code, I open an Anaconda pump. Remember that we already have the um, YOLO environment set up, so we just try to, we, we just need to activate it again. Uh, we just, once we are in, we activate the YOLO V5. Now the environment has been changed to YOLO V5. And then go to the YOLO folder. That is the folders that you just download the zip and extract it to that location. Remember, that, remember, you need to get access to the YOLO folder. So go to the YOLO folder. So CD YOLO V5, because I put it under the user demo and then YOLO V5. So I just press, uh, so I just uh, put in CD YOLO V5 to get into that directory. Once we are in, we can p install with our uh, uh, slash our requirement.txt. That will help you to install the required module uh, under the YOLO path. And that's it for the installations. And now we, sh we are ready to do a real-time object detections with the image, webcam, video files with YOLO V5. YOLO V5 allows you to do the predictions with different types of source, including the image, webcam, videos, directory, YouTube, or stream. Um, and then this detect.py file, that is the Python file um, that is uh, used to help us to run the inference on different types of the source and save the results. So we are going to use this code. Let's take a look on the entire steps in order for us to make the detection. What we need to do is to open the console and locate the YOLO V5 folders and then type in the following, one of the following codes um, to, uh, that depends on what kind of um, source that you are going to use. Say for example, what I'm going to use is to use a YouTube source. As an example, we just um, go to the uh, open and anaconda prompt again. Remember, again, we need to activate the YOLO environment. Go to the YOLO folder. So here we go, just activate YOLO V5 uh, once, you, uh, once, once you open your Anaconda POM. And then CD YOLO V5 get access to your YOLO folders. And then once you are in, because what I'm going to do is to, uh, to, detect, the, in, uh, to de detect the objects in a, Yo in a YouTube source. Uh, as a result, I just type in Python and then call out the functions that is the detect.py and then provide the source that is the YouTube's link source. Once you get there, you should be able to make some detections. 
Just a friendly reminder, in order for you to run a YouTube file, you might need to install the following modules. Um, so just follow the instructions. Pips to install PAFY and pip install the YouTube's um, uh, under, under, underline and then DL. And after a few moments, you should be able to see the results like this. And that's it for this video. Now you should be able to do some object detections according to different source. I will put this notebook in the GitHub, um, so please don't hesitate to download and use it along with this YouTube video. Uh, special thanks to one of my subscribers and fans for your kind support to these free tutorials and video. If you have any other ideas on some other different applications on YOLO V5, say custom detections, please feel free to leave me a comment I will try to make a video for you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.